We've seen Sled Dog Rescue. We're going to walk up this lovely hill. It's basically just to try and raise some funds for some much needed treatment. At the moment, our vet's bills are pretty much crippling us. We've had a lot of dogs coming in. At the moment, we're at 130 through our doors since January. And all of these guys need new strings, <laughs> vaccinations, grooming, see? Because we get some of them coming in to us in extreme conditions. I mean, this guy here, he wasn't too bad. He came into us, he was in a kennel for 18 months. So he had a lot of muscle weakness in his back legs. Uh, he was limping, he was lame, which he's not now. He's fit and healthy to up this hill. Really, today's aim is just to try and have some fun, go for a walk, meet new people, and raise money. Basically what we hope to achieve is that we always get them. There's always rescue dogs coming in. And by the time we vaccinate them, by the time we warn them, by the time we, we spay or neuter them, you know, there's you know a couple of hundred quid. We send them out to adoption, we don't charge anywhere near that money to adopt them. We don't even get the money back on the adoption fee. Plus we've got the transport fees. I've absolutely no idea what it is. You know, we I've always loved them, I've always liked them. And we got this fella here um, for my 50th birthday. Um, Fiona was in. Fiona was up in uh, Fort William, and the time she came back, we got him. That was June, and we got Callie, who's in the back of the car, in uh, July, and we got these two. Snow and Angel. Yeah, they're absolutely lovely. 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 Yeah, they're absolutely we might look at them, they're doing some more fostering. We've obviously been fostering them for a couple of weeks as well. But again, it's a great experience. Wouldn't they change it? Me and her family have actually adopted Yaz, so she's no longer up for, foster, uh, for adoption now. Um, she is one of our Welsh dogs, so we managed to help eight Welsh dogs all come in. Um, they're all varying ages, we've got two three year olds, and the rest of them are about eight to ten. And this sweet girl, she came in and as you can tell she's a woolly Siberian so she's absolutely fluffy and lovely as anything. This was all extremely matted, all the dogs had diarrhoea, they all had eye infections, ear infections. So in total they've cost us about £2,500 um, just to get these guys sorted out and ready for going on to their loving homes. Where she's running away to as fast as she can. <laughs> it went reasonably well today, we all, we all made it, we all got back safely, it's the main thing. Um, managed to raise quite a decent bit for, for Saints as well and they're a fabulous hard working charity, I, I couldn't praise them high enough. 
Um, I knew them before I actually came on behind the scenes as coordinator. I'll tell you something, you don't see anything that goes on behind the scenes. It is insane the amount of work and the amount of hours that they put in. And they couldn't do it without volunteers and thankfully I've got a really, really good bunch in Scotland to help me and um, do crazy things like climbing Ben Lomond in the Scottish weather. So it's brilliant.